hello to anyone and everyone who's watching this vlog it's quite loud with the water and the taxis and I have trouble speaking loud but I'll try um yeah today's vlog <laughs> I am gonna talk about my experience um, studying engineering mechanical engineering to be exact and being one of like few females in a class full of guys and just for four and a half years every day being surrounded by guys and just past the room. However, let me start in first year. I was a very shy person, very soft-spoken, introverted, and I never sat in front in class, never asked questions, never really formed relationships with the professors and the lecturers, you know. So in like second semester in first year I made these two friends uh, these two guys and we did everything together projects um, assignments we studied together and they were like really really smart like really smart guys so it was a good relationship that the three of us had because it was very helpful to me because I struggled a lot in first year I struggled in adapting to the workload and the difficulty like going from high school to varsity in first year however there were quite a number of females in class because in first year you had like mechanical students chemical civil you name it we all did classes together because most of the classes are like mathematics and chemistry and all that stuff so we weren't specializing it so yeah there were quite a number of females but you'd always find that there would be like a group of guys and then one girl another group of guys one girl group of guys one girl or two or three so I, I used to hang out with these guys all the time until I felt like I was not part of the group anymore because I felt like they didn't take me seriously and part of the reason why, one part of that is because I was very not confident in my abilities in doing the work that we had so I like put myself in the back so they never really came to me like Tiamo um lead this project and i never put myself out there to lead project and another reason i don't know if it's because i was female i don't know you know they have their own perspective on how things were sometimes i think it's because i was female like they and they they are genuinely really nice guys and if when they did make me feel like an outsider they did not do it on purpose um, but I remember, I think it was towards the end of first year or if it was second year, we had to do a project. Uh, we had to build like a remote controlled car, a small car. And we had like a, we invited a third party into our group. He was also a guy. And then the three of them were just like flat out ignoring me. And I got really angry. But I didn't like say anything. I just like silently left the group after that project. 
and I started hanging out with these other guys and doing projects with them and studying with them and all that and they are my like good friends of mine to this day we call ourselves the dream team <laughs> if any of you guys are watching this vlog hello um yeah so I really felt like part of the team with those guys um I felt like they to some degree they valued my opinion but I think I also held back in like showing my abilities and I wasn't confident in how smart I was and even then this was sec second year yeah second year up until fourth year I was I was with these guys and still I never sit in front in class I never asked questions yeah like I was I don't know why and I shot myself in the foot like if you are a girl and you're doing uh, whatever you're studying whatever and it's male dominated and you feel a little shy don't just do you ask questions even if you think they're dumb it really doesn't matter just ask and don't be scared to be wrong and don't be scared to be right either and don't be scared to be heard but anyway um but also another way that I like uh, uh, disadvantaged myself is that I oh I depended on these guys too much because this year I was doing my honors and it was the first time I was doing a degree totally on my own like with no help and I think I would have been used to that if I had gotten used to working alone like I'm not depending on other people to help me out when I'm stuck or whatever so don't be scared to work alone either um yeah trust in your abilities and your mind to work alone and produce quality work um in fourth year there weren't as many girls in the class i think at one point i counted like 10 females you know if you're studying engineering the people that you start off with aren't necessarily the people that you finish with um in my mechanical class so yeah in fourth year i think there were about 10 girls yeah man the whole degree was brutal um but towards the end me and this girl Komoto I think I'll add her to the vlog actually because I'm meeting up with her later and she can tell you what her experience was we started doing a lot of projects together like just the two of us and that gave me a lot of confidence in myself and in my work so that was really helpful and she's also really smart like really 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 really, really smart um yeah that's all I have to say for now. Um, check you guys later. Oh, sorry. Don't put a question hub. Okay, how was it being a girl studying mechanical engineering? What a ride. What a ride. It was different. Um, unexpected so many guys and but it was quite an experience um, doing something new something that um, not everyone is doing but yeah did you feel intimidated sometimes most of the time because you get people looking at you like are you sure <laughs> So most of the time, yeah. Um, I was saying, like in first year, there were like a lot of girls, and then as the years went by, there were three girls. <laughs> I think it was ten, wasn't it? Ten, like mixed. Final year. Final year. Yeah. Like both the English and the Afrikaans class. Yes, literally ten. Ten girls. Ten girls from. I don't know how many girls. First year. 
Yeah. But the numbers just. <laughs> and like it was always, you have like a group of guys, like five guys and one girl. <laughs> every Six group. guys, one girl. <laughs> Each and every group, there's like eight guys and one girl. Yeah. Every group project, every group, anything. And like I never understood why the girls we never work together as, a, as girls yeah <laughs> no we didn't it's like every 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 squad had a one had yeah. one girl yeah but like i wish that i did more like i wish i wasn't as intimidated and scared like i feel like i could have learned more instead of depending on like my group members <laughs> And we did a, some projects together, and yeah. like we started working together. Towards the end, yeah. I think it was just how the numbers were skewed. Yeah. It just made sense. Yeah. We weren't enough to begin with. So if there's ten groups, it's like one girl in every group. <laughs> but it was it was rough. Like, would you advise someone to do? Like, Not like a girl, like a girl to study mechanics. Yeah. Um, I would, I would, but they need to be sure, because it's, it's not, it's not nice, I don't want to lie, it's not like the most interesting thing to study, no, but it's not. it's not, but if you like it, I mean, yeah, I would, I'd advise anyone to study mechanical engineering for the experience, for the experience. It, it, it's not interesting, but then it helps you be smart. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does a lot. Yeah. Anything else? Um How are the numbers now? Is it still the case? I don't I probably not. I think they're probably more girls. Oh, no. Yeah, probably. But I don't know, I feel like girls prefer to study chemical and, and industrial. industrial. Civil as and well. Civil Those as three. Well. Like I don't think there were there weren't any girls doing electrical. You know. <laughs> and, computer and computer and Oh, it was maybe that one girl. Yeah. Uh, only. But electronics I can't remember. I, yeah, I also don't know anyone. But I'm sure the numbers are different now. I'm sure now. If you had um opportunity to I would do something like mechatronics. Yeah. Why? I feel like mechanical engineering is becoming outdated. Like everything is automated. I'd do something with more programming, programming. and yeah, stuff like but that. But there are parts of mechanical engineering which a little. It was a little bit. I'll do art. <laughs> <laughs> Something totally different. different. Yeah. Alright. <laughs>